All right, let's load this up. Retro Devil is dropping this 128 gig or like around 120 gig of um, <clears throat> uh, Retrobat Windows PC, Windows 10 or 11 emulation build. Look at all this stuff. Let's go to all games really quick. 6,500 different games. Let's look at these consoles really quick. I'm loving the 1,000 MS-DOS games, especially since this is for a computer. Um, I'm liking the Sega Model 3, Naomi, Thomas Wave. Um, it doesn't have a ton of PlayStation or Dreamcast games because they take up so much space. But then you've got all your major systems, all your Nintendo systems, Sega systems, things like that. All your Nintendo 64 games. Huge beats of rage collected. So it's pretty cool. The other thing I like about this is running Retro Bat. And so this is just one th theme on it. It's got a bunch of different themes. Let's go to comic book really quick. And there you are. Look at that. Boom. It's like turning a page. The sound effects are really cool. It looks pretty. Uh, when you go into a system, you can see this. It turns. You can, if you hold down, you go into the video snap here. Looking pretty, right? Uh, on top of that, you can add multiple controllers, change your first, second, third, fourth player controls really easily, change the emulation settings, update the front end as you want, even has uh, the bezel project or what it comes with stock is just some really basic bezels. There's even background music. You just go over here to sound settings. You can turn the background music on and off with this little button right here, you know, sound settings, things like that. So super easy to use, but these are not the uh, first people to make a retro bat build. I just like that it's so purpose built. So let's go ahead. Next up, let's check out the different games. Sega 32X, you got all the games. Atari 5200, you got most of the games. Atari 7800, most of the games. And Thomas Wave, only 23 games. The reason why only 23 games is these are big games. But there's some light gun games on here as well. So if you're rocking the Sin and Light Gun or something like that, very cool. Coleco, you got all of them. MS DOS, a thousand games. So I'm talking Commander Keen. I'm talking, you know, all the old Star Wars games. Um, you know, Turrican, all that, all that fun stuff. Um, Alien Carnage, uh, really cool to see. Um, Alone in the Dark, yeah, The Incredible Machine. Okay, Dreamcast, only 16 games, and there's actually a couple uh, duplicates here. Veronica, as well as Shenmue, because it's a, it's a multiple CD game. But um, they run great, but not that many, just because you can't do much with the, with the constraints here. Um, Next up, Game Boy Advance, pretty much all of them. Game Boy Color, pretty much all of them. Game Gear, pretty much all of them. Light Gun, so in case you want to see. Um, no Area 51, you know, uh, a couple of a duplicate there. For the most part, all the artwork. Lucky and Wild, great game. Um, but uh, it's for a PC, so getting like the Sin and Light Gun working well is really easy. Second Master, some most of them. So Second Model 3, I played some uh, Dirt Devils earlier. I like this is all set up. Um, I do have a 144 hertz screen. If you have a fast screen for gaming, you want to go ahead and lower your hertz down to 60 to get those games running correctly. Naomi, 58 games. So nice little collection here. You can kind of add this with the Atomus. Between Atomus Wave, Naomi, and Dreamcast, you got quite a few. If you're into the, like the Sega games, there's a large selection of the Sega games in this kind of like 2000s era. You're going to get a nice little, uh, you know, collection of those. All right. And I've never played that version of Tetris. This is one of the versions of Tetris I've never tried before. Oh, I accidentally loaded the game. So as you see, if you load the game, it just boots up a little screen. And as you see here, the bezels are very basic. Okay, so then I exited the game and it takes you back to the, um, the main system. Nintendo 64, you got all the games. Nintendo DS, all the games. NES, all the games. Beats of Rage, huge collection of Beats of Rage. PlayStation, not a very big collection because just like Dreamcast, these CD-based games were like 600 megabytes per or so. Um, so just a small little collection there. You can add some more stuff. I'll show you in a second. Uh, you can add some more games, some cool little PSP games. And be, again, depending on what kind of computer you're running, but if you have more than like a $300, $400 laptop or desktop, you're going to be able to run these no problem. Super Nintendo, all of them. And then these are all little collections. Um, and this, these aren't showing up just because of the theme. So if you do, for example, the other theme I was looking at, um, I was using the, um, which one? The Art Flicks as well as uh, Epic Noir. Those work just fine. And I just want to show you, so this is what it looks like. So the ROMs directory, if you wanted to add, for example, PlayStation 2 games, you know, you just had to add the BIOS file as well as add the ROMs. Um, if you wanted to add Wii, you could. So, I mean, a lot of that depends on what kind of computer you have and how much extra space you have. Um, but I like that this is just a purpose-built image. 
with those restraints on the uh, size of the files. So there you have it, Retro Devils dropping this 128 gigabyte or 120 gigabyte uh, download. Downloads at around 102 gigabytes, so it does take a little bit of time to get it. Then you unrar it, and then you're rock and rolling. You can just leave it on your internal hard drive or put it on an external hard drive, a portable hard drive, a thumb drive, an SD card, you know, whatever you want to do. You just drag and drop it. Uh, overall, I'm loving it. I love the theme choice. I love, you know, the fresh RetroBat build. I like that he included all the ROMs for particular systems, especially those that don't take a lot of space. Um, everything's pre-configured, ready to go. You know, I like the light gun. I like that. I like the large MS DOS collection. That's really cool to see, especially for a computer emulation, because you already have the keyboard and mouse right here. So it's cool to play all those MS DOS games, you know, that you grew up on. Um, so I'm digging it. I really like it for those reasons. I mean, there's all kinds of builds out there. Build your own Retrobat. Start it from scratch. Try somebody else's. There's there's way bigger ones out there that are you know great as well. And so um, this is one of of many. And uh, if you want something to just get you started and or something small, check this one out. But that's what I think. Let me know y'all think. Don't forget to like, subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one.